Hey everybody, welcome back to Kiwi Plays. Today we're going to be taking a look at a game that recently caught my attention on Steam called Scene Mora, which is Latin for, uh, something. I just read it, and now I forgot. Without hesitation, something like that. Alright, let's jump right in. I'm going to jump into the story mode and start a new game from the beginning. I've never played this before. I'm going to... I'll go ahead and do it on normal for now. No need to stress myself out for no reason. Above Mirage Mountain, Circle 1317, Quarter 2. Alright, this looks ballin' as hell already. I like this. Cobalt King calling headquarters 1200 476 12. Beginning descent. Do you copy? Yes, I copy all of your nonsensical uh, aeronautical talk. I said I copy. You better believe it. Been ready for a while now, my friend. Oh, nope, that's not it. Oh, let's fast forward. Come on, let's just do it. They're pretty much telling me to. Yep, copy that, Cobalt King. Bunch of numbers again. Navigation says we're on target above the city. Counter gravity anticipated in 3, 2, 1, and it's a go! All right. Oh, I already love this. Okay, so that's how I move. I thought so. Thanks. Do games really need that these days? Use the stick to move. Come on. Hit, hit who hard? What am I? What am I aiming at here? Come on, man. Give me something to do. Ah, these guys. All right. Ah, so for every kill, you seem to get more time. Oh, holy hell, I thought that guy was going to hit me. But he's just window dressing. These are the guys i got to worry about. I don't have a sub-weapon yet. That would be assigned to X, according to the controls. What are you trying to do? Circle around on me. That's not happening. Bring it on. Fly the friendly skies. Alright, so far this is pretty cool. This is your standard kind of, uh, Gradius kind of... ...side-scrolling, flying, shooting bullet hell. But I want to face them one-on-one, -on -one, Cobalt King. By the way, Cobalt King is a kick-ass call sign. You can be my wingman anytime. Yeah, that was a Top Gun reference. What of it? If there were ever a time. I have to say, the scenery is amazing. The graphics on this are uh, pretty pretty awesome. It's giving me a lot of cutscene in between my shooting, though. Ah, I have Seeker missiles. Whoa! Okay. Alright. I'm feeling that. I gotta watch out, though. Something tells me this guy's got a trick up his sleeve. I need more missiles. I used them all. I shouldn't have done that. Get away. No. I need an adult. Don't get any closer. I have privacy issues. That'll do it, pig. That'll do it. Yeah, let's scatter this floating fortress. Whatever that means. I'm down. Bellwether, 22 reporting. Red leader calling in. Oh god, there's too many of them. I've been hit. Gah! Yep, knew it. Great shot, kid. That was one in a million. I'm going to fast forward through your inevitable death. Wow, you fall for a long time. Uh, for novice pilots, uh, I'm going. I'm going novice. Sorry, people, it's my first time. 
Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, skip through a little bit of this. I mean, it's cool and everything, but I don't want to just look at me flying for 30 seconds. Come on, what the hell? Time capsule. Ah, okay. So time is of the essence in this game, it appears. Oh no, don't you do that. I don't like that. Starting to look like some old metal slug here. Alright, I'm down. Challenge accepted, dude. Ah! Gotta be careful. Wow, they really amped up the difficulty. This is for novice pilots? Give me a break, man. Most people would have a really fucking hard time with this kind of shit. Or maybe I'm just stupid. Maybe my brain is stupid and can't can't see shapes. Oh, man, not nah, yeah. See, I got this. It's pretty easy. Pretty simple so far. Did I get him? I think so. I think that's confirmation that I got him. I agree. We're fast-forwarding again. I don't know why it's choppy when you fast-forward. That's not very cool. Alright, pick up the power-ups. That's pretty, uh, pretty standard stuff there. This is a tried and true method. <laughs> Time extend. You're right, I want that. Score! Sub weapon! Alright, I gotta say, this is sweet. If you ever played any kind of game like this in the arcade when you were a kid and you loved it, uh, you owe it to yourself to try this out. Because I can tell it's gonna get a lot better. And if it doesn't, I'll be disappointed, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it will. Positive first impression, let's just say that. I can rapid fire now. Whoa. That doesn't look too friendly. Or practical. All our president accounted for, sir. Pack, close up, and report. Interested to see what a boss fight would be like. Yeah, we clean that airspace pretty good. It's not a big deal. Yeah, okay. Like, yeah, thanks. There we go. That's more like it. See, once you get to these parts, oh my god, it's amazing. I see your little blue dongles. I'm gonna avoid them. Avoid certain glowing things and get the other ones. There you go. How do you like that, you dumb bastards? Eagle 1, this is Fox 2. Fox 5, this is Eagle 3. What, you know, all that shit from Independence Day. Come on. 1996 wasn't that long ago, was it? Fucking hell it was. Ah, that guy got behind me. I don't like that. I want to kill everything. Okay, this is just amazingly fantastic. I will forgive it for being a little slow on the story earlier. I mean, it just wants to set up the scenery and everything, but this is all it needs to be, man. Should have picked a bit of a higher difficulty. I will next time. Uh, but this is pretty awesome. Yeah, you didn't even have a chance. Bring it on. Oh, I just keep getting stronger as you get weaker. Ain't that a kick in the teeth. Time mass stabilized. I do not know what that means, but it, uh, it's good. It's stable. Alright, looks like that's my boss fight. Am I right? Come on, give me something big to shoot. Uh, really? You get a fast forward because of that. Oh wait, never mind, it was something. Woo! Alright, cool. Challenge accepted, big flaming skull. 
thingy. Ah! How does one avoid that? This will work. Whoa! Lord of mercy. You're a tough one, aren't you? That's alright. I got your number, bro. Come on. I'm waiting for you. Whenever you're ready. Oh, I can do both at the same time. Alright, cool. Whoa! Alright. Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa. You're talking, whoa, your tone, it's all wrong. Time mass stabilized. Oh, come on, come back. I wasn't done shooting you yet. I need more time. Oh. Is that a time one? Yes. Excellent. Score. Tanks now, huh? All right. Sorry, folks. I'm just a bit mesmerized by the scenery of this. I, I really like the art style of this. Uh, very shiny. Everything appears to be glowing. It's great to see that this, this uh, genre is not dead. God fucking damn it, fuck, says the lizard man. Yeah, I know. I thought I took care of him too. This time we will. You're not getting away, buddy. Pretty sure I have all the firepower in this situation. Die, you son of an ass! Alright, good line, I guess. Whatever works. Ah! Hell. I'm lucky that hits don't automatically kill you. Wait, what do they what do they want me to do? I'm getting him. He's done. He doesn't have any more health left. Do I just go bump into him? No, that's a bad idea. Oh, hell. Something tells me I'm in for it. Yep, I'm in for it. Oh, God. Got him. And that's apparently how you play Scene Mora. Hope that was a nice little short review for everybody. Uh... Kind of drags in the story segments. You can skip through them, though, by holding the left button. It's no big problem. And the actual gameplay part itself, fucking fantastic. Really like this game. I'm going to keep playing it, but I'm not going to record all of it. Because I want to just get lost in the visuals. So uh, pick it up on Steam if you if you want to. Or uh, if you can get it somehow. Kick-ass game. If you're into that sort of thing.